Hello world. What is up everyone? Welcome back to today's video. Grab your suitcase, pack your bags. Today guys, we are going on a tropical vacation. Today we're going straight to Brazil. You guys know I haven't left the house in, oh my gosh, I haven't traveled in almost two years. So this is exactly what I need today. Today, guys, we are going to be reviewing every single Sol de Janeiro body cream, body lotion that they have. I want to talk about the fragrance, the texture, how they last, how they perform, how long the fragrance lasts in particular. Because these creams do come with a luxury price tag, each one is almost $50. I know it's not realistic to perhaps purchase all three at once, so I want to break everything down. I want you guys to know exactly what each cream does, what it smells like, where you go when you wear it, who you're going to meet, what you're going to do. I have got a lot to tell you guys. So let's just dive right into it. This is Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream that retails for $45 for 240 mils. This is a fast absorbing cream with an addictive scent and a visibly tightening smoothing formula that adds a hint of shimmer to the skin. Okay, now this is definitely an icon in the body lotion category and probably one of the world's most famous and well-known body creams. Let's just get right inside. Now you guys know, first of all, all of these jars are colored and this color yellow definitely presents what you're about to experience when you open the jar. Now immediately, when you open it, you are taking on vacation. Immediately I'm smelling pistachio, I'm smelling beach, I'm smelling warmth, spiciness. It's such a unique, deep, really just vacation scent is the easiest way that I can describe it. It's almost like a pina colada, a little bit creamy. You can definitely smell coconut. I'm getting caramel, I'm getting cookie, almost like a little bit biscuit. The Boom Boom Cream, of course, is Sol de Janeiro's signature scent, that Chirosa 62, which is this guy right here. Oh my gosh, look how big this perfume body mist is. I could just miss these all day long. They smell delicious. But the scent is very warm, it's very comforting. In fact, last week I actually wore this to a family function. I was probably in the house for like five, maybe 10 minutes at the most, and everyone was like, what, what, is, what does that smell? Who smells delicious? And I was just sitting there like I didn't say anything. And they literally went around sniffing everyone and I was just sitting there like I knew it was me. Hello, I was wearing Boom Boom Cream. And finally, when they got around, they were like, it's you. Not only was I wearing the Boom Boom Cream, but I also layered it with the Body Perfume Mist. You guys, I smell divine. The formula does include Kapawasu butter, acai oil, coconut oil as well. The cream is meant to firm, tighten, and smooth out dimples on your Boom Boom. This isn't something that I've noticed personally since using the cream. I do think that this might be a clever play on words. They say that it visibly tightens the skin and what I'm thinking is it does hydrate, nourish the skin, and then add a little bit of a shimmer to the skin. So I'm thinking as far as visibly firming or the look of firming, it might just be that hydration and that visible reflectiveness to the skin that makes the skin appear firmer. Now all that aside, I do find the Boom Boom Cream super hydrating, very nourishing, similar to a body butter However, it doesn't leave any of that stickiness, oiliness. I'm sure you guys have all at one point in your life used a body butter that just didn't absorb into the skin and it just kind of sat on top of the skin. This is not the Boom Boom Cream. The Boom Boom Cream provides the hydration of a body butter without leaving that lasting oiliness or stickiness. Now there is another product that does leave a little bit of oiliness and we're gonna talk about that, but the Boom Boom Cream absorbs into the skin, super fast absorbing, it dries down, it adds hydration. I really wanted to put how long the fragrance lasted to the test with each one of these creams. So I did a little experiment for you guys. Each night I applied a different Boom Boom cream to my arms before I went to bed and I tested them when I woke up in the morning if I could still smell the Boom Boom cream on my arm. I figured that was the best way to do it because during the day you're washing your hands, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're sanitizing all day long. So I applied it to my arms and when it came to the Brazilian Boom Boom cream, the next morning you definitely could still smell it. On the smell meter scale, I would say you could smell it about... I don't know, maybe like a 7 out of 10. Definitely still there, definitely still long lasting. Not a 10 out of 10, but it definitely still lingered. Is it worth $45? That is debatable to each their own. If you love the fragrance as much as I do, it's definitely worth the money. This is Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Intense Hydration Body Cream that retails for $45 for 240 mils. 
This is a superior moisture plush oil and water body cream that instantly hydrates and soothes for soft, bouncy skin. Oh boy, you guys. If you thought we were going on vacation with the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, we are going on vacation on a rocket ship to the sweetest coconut island that only bakes fresh cookies and drizzles them in caramel and you only eat them fresh. That is the Coco Cabana Cream in a nutshell. Let's open this up, you guys. This is different from the Boom Boom Cream Cream, where the Boom Boom Cream is meant as an everyday moisturizer, Coco Cabana is meant as more of a deep hydration and intense hydration oil and cream formula, really reminiscent of more of a water cream. Oh, I have to brace myself before I open it. This is one of my favorite fragrances on the planet, you guys. Oh my, I could just stick my whole, just stick my face right in there. Now immediately when you take that first sniff, you get coconut right off the top. You get a little bit more tropical floral. There's orchid, there's praline. What it does is it almost takes that scent of the original Boom Boom Cream and just like dials it up to a 10. It's a much sharper fragrance. It smells much more high pitched, if that makes sense. It does smell reminiscent or related to the original Bum Bum Cream but it almost smells definitely a little bit more of that floral scent, like I said, almost like a little bit of the original JLo perfume. Do you guys remember that original Jennifer Lopez perfume? It almost what it smells like, kind of mixed with the Bum Bum Cream. Definitely more flirty, more fun, more outgoing. Um, it's almost like if you would wear this one to be a little bit more comforted, you definitely would be wearing Coco Cabana to like go to the clubs or like you wanna show off, you wanna enter the room, everyone is gonna smell you when you wear Coco Cabana. Trust me. Coco Cabana is really meant for people with really dry skin, dull skin, or any type of texturized skin. Like I said, it is an oil and cream formula, so it almost bursts on the skin when you put it on. Now, the major difference between this and the original Bum Bum Cream, because it has those extra oils in it, the Coco Cabana Cream really adds a shine, almost like a little bit of gloss to the skin, which I love, especially on your arms or your legs. Like if you're leaving the house and you really want to show off your limbs, you want to look juicy, hydrated, dewy, and smell delicious, Coco Cabana is the way to go. It also has citric acid, which is actually going to help to gently exfoliate any dry skin or built up skin. It also has hyaluronic acid to add that deep hydration into the skin. Now, one thing that I should note is Coco Cabana does not work that good as a hand cream because like I said, it does have those oils in it. And while it adds that nice reflective glow to the skin, having it on your hands is not that hot. You know, if you want to pick something up like a glass of water or a coffee, it would slip right out of your hands. Ooh, one other thing is it doesn't have any shimmer in it or mica in it like the original Boom Boom Cream. So it is more about that hydration and shine where Boom Boom Cream is more about hydration and a little bit of glitter. Now I cannot with the texture, you guys. Do you guys know I love gel cream hybrids and this hits the spot. When you put it on the skin, it just bursts with hydration. It spreads very easily. It absorbs super quickly. Although leaving behind a little bit of that shine on the skin, the cream itself does absorb quite quickly. The scent is super long lasting. Now, when I did my scent test for Coco Cabana, it's actually the longest lasting Sol de Janeiro scent that I have found so far. When I applied it to my arms before I went to bed, the next morning you could still very clearly smell it on my arms. Out of all of the Sol de Janeiro products, the Coco Cabana scent does last the longest. Up next is the newest addition to the Sol de Janeiro lineup. This is Sol de Janeiro Boom Dia Bright Body Cream that retails for $45 for 240 mils. This is a retexturizing and nourishing daily body cream with fruit AHAs and vitamin C that reveals visibly brighter, smoother skin. Now, this is a unique one for me, you guys. First of all, this color, it just speaks to me. Now, immediately when you open the Boom Dia Cream, Okay, this fragrance is super interesting. Immediately, it doesn't smell like the original Boom Boom Cream and it doesn't even smell like Coco Cabana. It is a brand new fragrance all on its own. Musky, a little bit deep. You definitely get plum, there's amber, there's vanilla. It doesn't smell like cookies or praline or caramel like the other Sol de Janeiro products. It does smell related, but it doesn't smell nearly as similar to the other two. I'm also getting like deep hints of jasmine, but still fruity like banana, definitely musky and definitely very vanilla forward. Now something super interesting about the Boom Dia cream is when I got it, it was actually my least favorite Sol de Janeiro cream. But then ironically, it's actually the one that I've used the most, you guys. I find that very fascinating. Initially, it was my least favorite fragrance, but it's the cream that I use the most. What does that say about me? The scent is just so unique. It almost smells like it has the aesthetic of like, 
I don't know, like the 70s vibe. It just has a very chill vibe. It has a very natural vibe. It actually smells like one of the hotels in Vegas, and I can't remember exactly which one. I think it's either the MGM or Caesars Palace. You guys know how they all have like a distinct scent. It smells very similar. Now, the Boom Dia Cream does contain a lot of different fruit AHAs to help smooth out dry skin. Its main focus is really to smooth out the skin and add skin brightness. Now, as far as skin smoothing, this is actually something that I can attest the Boom Dia Cream does work. I've actually been using this on the backs of my arms with my keratosis pilaris, my arch nemesis, my KP, you know, those little bumps on the back of your arm. And since I've been using the Boom Dia Cream on the backs of my arm, my keratosis pilaris, you guys, is gone. I can barely believe it. Now, normally I wouldn't recommend using a fragranced product on your KP. However, this has been working great for me. I haven't been using any other products on my Keratosis Polaris until I started using this, the only cream I've been using, and it's literally smooth as butter. I can't believe it. Now, as far as texture goes, out of the three, the Boom Dia Cream does most closely resemble the original Boom Boom Cream. However, I think that they've really perfected the formula. I find this even faster absorbing. I find it more moisturizing, more hydrating, and it just leaves the skin looking so beautiful. This guy, I just say, is more for like daily hydration or kind of like comfort, like you're going around family or friends. You're just kind of staying home, maybe watching movies, want to get cozy with like a pumpkin spice latte, tis the season. Where this one is a little bit louder, you might wear it when you want to leave the house, you want to use it to smooth out any areas where you have lumps and bumps, ingrown hairs. I would say that the Bom Dia Cream is as hydrating as Coco Cabana, just without the oils. So think of this more as like your showgirl, like you want to show off your limbs, you want to show off the boys. Boom Dia is the same amount of hydration, just without that showboat shine. As far as fragrance test goes, when I use the Boom Dia at night before bed, the fragrance is 100% still there in the morning. I would give it about a 9 out of 10. Longest lasting? Almost as longest lasting. Still long lasting, but just not quite as lasting. So to sum things up, Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, comforting, everyday, good hydration, beautiful scent, mid-tier, long-lasting, worth $45, yes in my opinion because I love it, but if you don't love the fragrance, $45 is quite expensive, so I do get that. Coco Cabana, deeply hydrating, very nourishing, smells top tier, 10 out of 10 fragrance, my favorite, super long-lasting, deeply hydrating, and the shine that it gives to that skin literally just speaks to my heart. The fragrance in Coco Cabana is so powerful and the hydration is so deep that even though it's $45, I definitely would recommend if you're going to try any of them, this is definitely the way to go because it's just such top tier quality, long-lasting, and a really unique experience. And I actually feel the same way when it comes to the Boom Dia Cream. If you want to work on smoothing out any areas, keratosis pilaris, ingrown hairs. Super unique smelling, not necessarily smelling the same as the other two. Very unique, standalone. Um, I mean, if I had to go to a desert island, it would be very hard to pick between all three. They're super unique. They all provide different things for me. So it's like, why would I have to choose one? I want all three. All right, guys, I just went to try and find Romeo and he is deeply asleep in the back of the closet. So I'm just going to leave him there. If you made it to the end of today's video, you know that Romeo and I love and appreciate you so much, even though he didn't want to come out to say goodbye. If you haven't already, give today's video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, turn on all bell notifications. That's it for today's video, you guys. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.